simplifying square roots. Here we have a selection of square roots and we're going to write them in simplest radical form. So, taking a look at the square root of 12, we can prime factor 12 into say 3 times 4. 3 is a prime number, 4 factors into 2 times 2. That means that the square root of 12 can be written as the square root of 3 times 2 times 2. But we know what the square root of 2 times 2 is. 2 times 2 is another way of writing 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. So the square root of 2 times 2 is 2. The square root of 3 is an irrational number so we're going to leave it inside the square root sign. So the simplest radical form of the square root of 12 is 2 times the square root of 3. Now let's look at problem B. We should pretty well know that the square root of 36 is 6. But if this method is any good at all, it should get us that same answer. So, doing it the same way, prime factor, 6 times 6, 3 times 2, 3 times 2. So, the square root of 36 is also the square root of 3 times 2 times 3 times 2. But we know what the square root of 3 times 3 is. The square root of 3 times 3 is 3 because 3 times 3 is 9. We know what the square root of 2 times 2 is. The square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. And that leaves nothing inside the square root sign for us to have any need of it. So the answer is 3 times 2 or 6. And the square root of 36 is 6, just like we knew it was. Okay, looking at the next problem, the square root of 42. Well, 42 prime factors into 6 times 7. 6 can be further prime factored into 2 times 3. So the square root of 42 is equal to the square root of 2 times 3 times 7. Well, it's prime factored, and there are no pairs. We don't know what the square root of 2 is. We don't know what the square root of 3 is. We don't know what the square root of 7 is, except that they're all irrational numbers. There's nothing more to be done with this. The square root of 42 is the square root of 42 in simplest radical form. Now let's look at three other problems that don't have a leading coefficient of 1. Leading coefficient is a 3. Well, we start out by doing it exactly the same way. We prime factor 18, which is 2 times 9. 9 is 3 times 3. So 3 times the square root of 18 is the same as 3 times the square root of 2 times 3 times 3. But we know the square root of 3 times 3 is 3. So that's going to be a 3 times. There was a 3 already out front times the square root of 2, which doesn't pair off nicely. So the final answer is 3 times 3, 9 times the square root of 2. Now here are two more. Why don't you pause the video and give those two a try on your own. And then we'll come back and check them. All right, 
Let's try these. We know that this is going to be 5 times the square root of something. But we have to figure out what the prime factorization of 48 is first. So this is 6 times 8. 6 is 2 times 3. 8 is 2 times 4, which is 2 times 2. Sorry for the lack of space here. So the prime factorization of 5 times the square root of 48, I'm sorry, the, the next step is 5 times the square root of 2 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now, we look for pairs. Our answer is going to be 5 times, let's see, there's a pair of 2's. There's another pair of 2's. And that's going to leave us the lone square root of 3 inside. 5 times 2 is 10, times 2 is 20, 20 square root 3. Now let's try and do the next. Should have left a little more space here, I'm sorry. So this is going to be 6 times the square root of whatever the prime factorization of 150 is. Now we should be good enough at this to do a little bit of prime factorization in our head. 150 is 15 times 10. 15 is 3 times 5. 10 is 2 times 5. 15 times 10 is a 150. Now let's see if we have any pairs, because our answer is going to involve a 6 times, well, let's see. We have a pair of 5's. 6 times 5. No more nice pairs. We don't know what the square root of 3 is. We don't know what the square root of 2 is, other than th they're irrational. And we can further simplify that a bit. 6 times 5 is 30 times the square root of 2 times 3, 6. 30 times the square root of 6. Hope you did well.